World Boys Day 2023 celebrates on 16th April. World Homeopathy Day 10 April World Homeopathy Day is observed every year on 10 8 April to mark the birth anniversary of Dr. Christian Friedrich Samuel Hahnemann, the founder of Homeopathy. Theme Is Homo Parivar Universal Health, One Health, One Family? Save the Elephant Day 16th April The theme of Save the Elephant Day 2023 is protecting elephant habitats for a sustainable tomorrow. The David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, a non-profit organization in Kenya, inspired the creation of Save the Elephant Day. In Uniso Banwe, the government of India launched Project Elephant. World Art Day 2023 observed on 15 at April 132 and the birth anniversary of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar will be celebrated. On 14 April 2023, the nation is celebrating Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's 132nd birth anniversary. World Chagas Disease Day, 14 April International Day for Street Children 2023. 12th April International Day of Human Space Flight will be observed on 12 at April 2023. On 12th April 1961 was the date of the first human space flight was carried out by Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet citizen, who became the first person to journey into outer space. National Safe Motherhood Day 2023 observed on 11 at April the Government of India declared April 11, the birth anniversary of Kasturba Gandhi, as the National Safe Motherhood Day in 2013 at the request of the White Ribbon Alliance India, a coalition of 1,800 organizations. World Parkinson's Day, 11th April, Theme 2023, Take 6 for PD. National Affairs Global Buddhist Meeting India will host the Global Buddhist Summit for the first time in New Delhi. The theme of the upcoming today Global Buddhist Summit to be hosted by India is responding to contemporary challenges from philosophy to practice. First Technical Regulation from India for Technical Textiles Industry Launched The Ministry of Textiles Launched to Quality Control Orders QCOs, for 31 items which marked the first technical regulation from India for the technical textiles industry. These QCOs consist of 19 geotextiles and 12 protective textiles in the phase I. These two geotextiles and protective textiles QCOs will come into effect in 180 days immediately after the date of the publication of the orders in the Gazette and both domestic manufacturers as well as foreign manufacturers. In Phase 2, the Ministry of Textiles plans to issue two more QCOs for 28 items that will cover 22 agro-textile products and six medical textile items. In Phase 3, it plans to bring over these technical textile items under the QCO. Minister Purushottam Rupala launches Animal Epidemic Preparedness Initiative, AP. On 14 April, the Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Purushottam Rupala launched the Animal Epidemic Preparedness Initiative to holistically address animal pandemics. The initiative aims to enhance the country's preparedness and response to animal pandemics with a focus on zoonotic diseases that pose a threat to both animal and human health. Zoonotic diseases are infections that can be transmitted from animals to humans through various means such as direct contact, consumption of contaminated food or water, inhalation of droplets, or bites from infected animals. Examples include rabies, anthrax, Ebola virus, salmonella, Lyme disease, and avian influenza. Bharat Gaurav tourist train flagged off on the occasion of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's birth anniversary. Union Tourism Minister G. Krishna Reddy and Social Justice and Empowerment Minister D. Virendra Kumar flagged off the Bharat Gaurav tourist train on the occasion of 132nd birth anniversary of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar from Hazrat Nizamuddin Railway Station in New Delhi on 14 April.
द थीम बेस्ड टूरिस्ट सर्किट ट्रेन भारत गौरव ट्रेन इज इन लाइन विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडियाज इनिशिएटिव एक भारत श्रेष्ठा भारत एंड देखोप नादेश टू प्रमोट डोमेस्टिक टूरिज्म एक भारत श्रेष्ठा भारत इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन द वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एथ बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल एंड वॉज लेटर अनाउंस्ड इन द टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन बजट स्पीच ऑफ द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर सोलर एनर्जी कॉर्पोरेशन गेट्स मिनी रत्ना स्टेटस स्टेट ओन सोलर एनर्जी कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एल टी डी ए सी सी आई हैज गॉट द स्टेटस ऑफ मिनी रत्ना कैटेगरी आई सेंट्रल पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइज सी पी एस ई द क्राइटेरिया लेड डाउन बाय द गवर्नमेंट फॉर ग्रांट ऑफ मिनी रत्ना स्टेटस टू सेंट्रल पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजेस सी पी एस ईज इज गिवन बिलो मिनी रत्ना कैटेगरी आई स्टेटस द सी पी एस ईज विच हैव मेड प्रॉफिट इन द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स कंटिन्यूअसली प्री टैक्स प्रॉफिट इज तीस रुपए क्रोज और मोर इन एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ द थ्री ईयर्स एंड हैव अ पॉजिटिव नेट वर्थ आर एलिजिबल टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर ग्रांट ऑफ मिनी रत्ना आई स्टेटस मिनी रत्ना कैटेगरी टू स्टेटस द सी पी एस ईज विच हैव मेड प्रॉफिट फॉर द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स कंटिन्यूअसली एंड हैव अ पॉजिटिव नेट वर्थ आर एलिजिबल टू बी कंसिडर्ड फॉर ग्रांट ऑफ मिनी रत्ना टू स्टेटस बेस्ट यूज ऑफ एम्प्लाज फंड इन गुजरात इन एफ आई टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू टू नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री यू पी गॉट मैक्सिमम फंड एम्प्लाज इज अ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट स्कीम अंडर विच एम पीज कैन रिकमेंड डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स इन देर कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसिस विद एन एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ पांच रुपए क्रो एवरी ईयर इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी थ्री गुजरात हैड द हाइएस्ट यूटिलाइजेशन रेशियो ऑफ एम्प्लाज फंड Under this, Chiasat rupee crore was allocated to the state. Ek saw petalis dashamlav ek ek percent was utilized. The funds received by each state from the center are in proportion to the number of MPs elected by the state. For example, Uttar Pradesh received four saw satais rupee pachas paise crore. The MP LED scheme was formulated in unni saw tiranve to enable members of parliament MPs. to recommend development works in their constituencies with emphasis on the creation of durable community assets based on the locally felt need initially the scheme was under the control of the ministry of rural development and planning in october 1994 the scheme was transferred to the ministry of statistics program implementation Under this scheme every MP is entitled to spend 5 rupees crore annually from June 2016 MP LED funds can also be used for implementation of schemes like Swachh Bharat Abhiyan Sulabh Bharat Abhiyan Accessible India campaign water conservation through rainwater harvesting and Sansdadarsh Gram Yojana etc Ministry of Education will organize a Young Authors Conference on the occasion of the SCO Summit 2022 se 23. India will host the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO Young Authors Conference YAC on 12 at 13 at April 2023 at New Delhi. Young Authors Conference will be organized by Ministry of Education with National Book Trust India an autonomous organization. under the ministry of education as the implementing agency sco formed 15 at june 2001 secretary general jhang ming headquarters beijing china the sco currently comprises of eight member states india kazakhstan china kyrgyzstan pakistan russia tajikistan and uzbekistan India releases first edition of Dogri version of Indian Constitution. On 10th April 2023, India released the first edition of the Dogri version of the Indian Constitution. The release of this version is a significant step towards promoting linguistic diversity and preserving the cultural heritage of the country. Dogri is a language spoken in the northern Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir and is one of the 22 official languages recognized by the Indian Constitution. Pre-draft National Curriculum Framework for School Education. 
Recently, the Ministry of Education released a pre-draft version of the National Curriculum Framework for School Education and has sought feedback from diverse stakeholders. The pre-draft was formulated by a committee led by K. Kasturi Rangan, a former head of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. NCF is one of the key components of the new education policy, NEP, Dohazar Bees, that enables and energizes this transformation, informed by the aims, principles, and approach of NEP Dohazar Bees. The draft national curriculum framework for school education provides framework for educational curriculum for children age groups 3 to 18 years. National Securities Depository released assets under custody report for the financial year 2022 to 1923. The assets under custody AUC report for the financial year 2022 was released by the National Securities Depository which provides information on the financial flows of foreign portfolio investors. According to this report, the major countries from which maximum FPI has been received are US, Singapore, Luxembourg, Mauritius and UK. Mauritius saw the biggest decline in foreign capital inflows, while Norway and Singapore registered an increase in AUC of 13% and 5%, respectively. In the financial year 2022, the assets under custody AUC, of foreign portfolio investors FPIs, decreased by 4.44% due to asset value erosion and capital outflows of over 35,000 rupee crore. Last year, in 2022, FPI outflow was recorded at 1 rupee 21 paise lakh crore, which was the highest ever annual outflow. Ahmadmi Party got the status of National Party. The Election Commission of India has granted National Party status to the Ahmadmi Party, AAP, on 10 April 2023. The Election Commission has withdrawn the National Party status of Sharatpwar's Party NCP, CPI and Trinamool Congress, TMC. In Uttar Pradesh, the Rashtriya Lok Dal, RLD, has also been withdrawn as a state party. Conditions to be recognized as a national party. According to the Handbook of Political Parties and Election Symbols, 2019 of the Election Commission of India, a political party is considered a national party if 1. It is recognized as a state party in four or more states or 2. Get 6% of the total valid votes from four different states in the Lok Sabha or state. Legislative Assembly's elections and additionally win four Lok Sabha seats. Or 3. If it has won at least 2% of the total seats in the Lok Sabha from at least three states. Conditions for recognition as a state party. 1. A party is recognized as a state party in a state if 2. It polls 6% of the valid votes polled in the state in the general election to the respective state legislative assembly and also it wins two seats in the same state legislative assembly. 3. If it gets 6% of the total valid votes in the state in the general election to the Lok Sabha and also it wins one seat in the Lok Sabha from the same state. 4. If it wins 3% of the seats in the Legislative Assembly or 3 seats in the Legislative Assembly, whichever is higher, in the general election to the Legislative Assembly of the concerned state. 5. If it wins 1 seat in the Lok Sabha for every 25 seats allotted to the state or any part thereof in the general election to the Lok Sabha from the state concerned. 6. If it secures 8% of the total valid votes polled in the state in a general election to the Lok Sabha for the state or state legislative assembly. Government disburses incentives for PLI scheme for drones drone components. The government has disbursed around 30 rupee crore during fiscal year. FY, 2 lakh 2 hazar 200 under the production linked incentive. 
PLI, scheme for 12 drone manufacturers and 11 drone component manufacturers. The development comes after a provisional list of TEIS PLI beneficiaries that was released on July 6 last year. To scale up domestic manufacturing capability, accompanied by higher import substitution and employment generation, PLI scheme started in 2020. The government has set aside 1 rupiah 97 paise lakh crore under the PLI schemes for various sectors and an additional allocation of 19,500 rupee crore was made towards PLI for solar PV modules in budget 2022 cities. PM inaugurates commemoration of 50 years of Project Tiger program in Mysore, Karnataka. The Prime Minister Srinarendra Modi inaugurated the program to mark the completion of 50 years of Project Tiger at the University of Mysore in Mysore, Karnataka on 9 April 2023. Along with this, the International Big Cats Alliance, IBCA, was also launched. He released the publication Amritkal's Vision for Tiger Conservation, Summary Report of All India Tiger Estimation, Fifth Cycle, of Management Effectiveness Assessment of Tiger Reserves. The number of tigers in the country has increased to 3,167. As per the data, the tiger population was 1,411 in 2006, 1,706 in 2010, 2,226 in 2014, 2,967 in 2018. According to the report of the year 2018 Madhya Pradesh, 526, in the first place in terms of tiger population in the country. India has only 2.4% of the world's land area, but it contributes 8% of the known global biodiversity. Project Tiger was implemented in the year 1973 by the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Kailash Sankhla, a renowned zoologist of the country, was appointed as the first director of the program. St. Petersburg Declaration in the year 2010, a meeting of the International Tiger Conservation Forum held in St. Petersburg city of Russia was attended by the heads of state of 13 tiger range countries of the world. Forest Conservation Amendment Bill, though Hazar Tais recently, the government introduced the Forest Conservation Amendment Bill, though Hazar Tais in Lok Sabha and proposed changes to the Forest Conservation Act, FC Unniso Asi. The aim of the proposed changes is to build forest carbon stock by raising plantations. The bill also seeks to make land available for compensatory afforestation. NGT forms panel to revisit environment clearance granted for Great Nicobar Island Mega Project. The Eastern Bench of the National Green Tribunal, NGT, has ordered a stay on the Bhattar Hazar Rupai Crow Great Nicobar Island Project and constituted a committee to revisit the environmental clearance granted by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, MOEFCC. The Great Nicobar Island, GNI, is a mega-project to be implemented at the southern end of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The project includes an international container transshipment terminal, an international airport, township development, an HR-150 MVA gas and solar-based power plant over an extent of solar hazard 610 hectares in the island. Genom India Project 10,000 genoms are expected to be completely sequenced by the end of the year 2023 under the Genom India Project. Genom India Project is a centre-backed, Department of Biotechnologies, DBT, initiative to sequence 10,000 Indian human genomes in three years and create a database. The project has sequenced close to 7,000 genomes and 3,000 of these are already available for public access by researchers. A genome is a complete set of genetic instructions which are present in an organism in its DNA. Cultural asset mapping data on villages covered under Meragav Meridharohar program will be made available on a web portal from May. 
The detailed dossiers of the villages covered under the Meragav Meridharoha program of the National Mission for Cultural Mapping will be made available from May on a web portal about National Mission for Cultural Mapping. It was launched in 2017 by the Union Ministry of Culture. Aim to develop a comprehensive database of art forms, artists and other resources across the country. The Culture Ministry had approved a budget of 469 rupee crores for the mission in 2017 for a period of three years. Government approves 30 rupee crore to establish Vakunt Mehta National Institute of Cooperative Management. The Ministry of Cooperation has approved and released a one-time grantinaid of 30 crore rupees to establish the Vakunt Mehta National Institute of Cooperative Management. Vakunt. Mehta National Institute of Cooperative Management was established in Unni Sarsat and is an apex center for cooperative management training, research and consultancy. It also organizes training programs for cooperative sector officials from South countries, Ethiopia, Mauritius and other countries. PM Modi launches Big Cat Alliance for Conservation of Seven Cats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the International Big Cats Alliance, IBCA, in Karnataka. IBCA focuses on the conservation of seven species of big cats, including tigers, lions, leopards, cheetahs, jaguars, snow leopards, and clouded leopards. International Affairs Ghana becomes first country to approve Oxford's malaria vaccine for children. Ghana has created history by becoming the first country to approve a high-efficiency malaria vaccine developed by scientists at the University of Oxford. The vaccine, named R21 Matrix M, exceeds the World Health Organization's 75% efficacy target, a significant achievement in the fight against malaria. Oxford has entered into an agreement with the Serum Institute of India to produce up to 200 million doses of the vaccine. South Korea to conduct first launch of commercial-grade satellite. South Korea plans to conduct its first launch of a commercial-grade satellite aboard a domestically built rocket next month as part of its space development program. It will carry one main satellite next generation small satellite Do feet and seven other smaller cube-shaped satellites. New York City appoints its first Ratsa New York City appointed Kathleen Koradi as its inaugural Ratsa to tackle the city's serious rodent issue. Koradi was given the responsibility of reducing the rat population and creating a clean environment for the residents. Nairobi hosted the Third Regional Symposium on Greening the Judiciaries The Third Regional Symposium on Greening the Judiciaries in Africa organized by the Africa Judicial Education Network on Environmental Law, Ajanil, in Nairobi, Kenya. It was based on the theme strengthening the role of judiciaries in addressing climate change in Africa. Turkey's first aircraft carrier to host world's first mainly unmanned air wing the Turkish Navy has received the TCG Anadolu, its first aircraft carrier, which is expected to house the world's first air wing made primarily of unmanned aircraft. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said the vessel would host many manned and unmanned aerial vehicles, with the TB3 from the Bayraktar family being the latest prototype tested on the carrier's flight deck. The TCG Anadolu is based on Spain's flagship, the Juan Carlos I, with a displacement of 27,436 tons and a top speed of about 80 knots. International police crackdown on dark web market under Operation Cookie Monster. Britain's National Crime Agency, NCA, said international law enforcement agencies have seized Genesis Market a huge dark web marketplace and cybercrime site popular with cybercriminals, in what has been dubbed Operation Cookie Monster. The NCA said cybercriminals used to buy stolen identities and passwords from Genesis. Genesis has sold the stolen data for anywhere from 70 cents to hundreds of dollars.
This site was active since 2018. Saudi Arabia will provide financial assistance in Pakistan's Mohammad Multipurpose Dam project. According to the Pakistan government, Saudi Arabia has signed a $240 million, 19 rupees 60 paise billion loan agreement with Pakistan to support the Mohammad Multipurpose Dam project. The loan agreement was signed by Sultan Abdul Rahman Al Marshad, CEO of the Saudi Fund for Development. SFD, and Dr. Kazim Niaz, Federal Secretary, Ministry of Economic Affairs, Pakistan. The dam will be built on the Swat River in Peshawar's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province and will generate 800 megawatt of electricity and conserve 1.6 million cubic meters of water. World Energy Transitions Outlook Report 2023 recently the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, released the World Energy Transitions Outlook Report 2023. Highlights of the report The global energy transition is still not on track and well short of the 1.5 degrees Celsius pathway. To survive 1.5 degrees Celsius, deployment levels must increase from 13,000 gigawatts, GW at present to more than 10,000 GW in 2030s, averaging 8,000 GW annually. Global investment in energy transformation technologies to reach a new record of 8.3 trillion in 2020s. Annual investments must more than quadruple to more than 5 dollar trillion to stay on the 8.5 degree Celsius path. By 2030s, Cumulative investment should be Chavali's US dollar trillion, with transition technologies representing a C percent of total investment, or Pethi's dollar trillion. Current pledges and plans fall well short of Irina's 1.5 degrees Celsius pathway and would result in an emissions gap of 16 gigatons, GT in Doha International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, Edquarter Abu Dhabi, USA launched the Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative. Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative was launched by the US to increase Ukraine's capacity to defend itself from Russia's aggression. Under this initiative, US dollar 2.6 billion military aid package was announced by the US. USAI is an authority under which the United States procures capabilities from industry. Sala di Atacama is the largest salt flat found in Chile. Sala di Atacama is Chile's largest salt flat. Much of the country's lithium deposits are found in this region. Chile is planning to collaborate with India to tap into the lithium value chain. The copper producing nation Chile holds the world's largest known lithium reserves. Bilateral Bangladesh issues five-point guideline for limited import of Indian films. The Bangladesh Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has issued a five-point guideline for the import of films made in the languages of Indian subcontinent on a limited scale. The guideline for the import of films from the South Asian Free Trade Area, SAFTA, countries was issued based on the application of Sammilitachla Chitra Parishad with the consent of the Finance Ministry under its import policy rules of 2022-1924. Jai Shankar inaugurated Tulsi Ghat restoration project of Varanasi from Uganda. India's External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar launched the Tulsi Ghat restoration project of Varanasi during his three-day visit to Kampala, Uganda. Jai Shankar will be in Mozambique from 2013 to 15 April. Nepal India will sign cross border digital payments deal to boost trade tourism. Nepal, capital, Kathmandu, currency, rupee, Prime Minister, Pushpa Kumar Dahan, President, Ram Chandra Powdle, India Bhutan plan to set up first integrated check post along border. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and King of Bhutan Jigmekhe Sarnam Gyalvenchak held a bilateral meeting in New Delhi. Both countries are examining and considering setting up the first integrated check post along the India Bhutan border.
which would be near Jaigav. India and Bhutan will also expedite the proposed Kokrajhargelefu rail link project through government. Of India support Russia remained the top supplier of crude oil to India. Russia continued to be the single largest supplier of crude oil, which is converted into petrol and diesel at refineries, for a sixth straight month by supplying more than one-third of all oil India imported according to energy cargo tracker Vortexa. India's imports of crude oil from Russia touched a new high of 1.64 million barrels per day in March and is now double of the purchases from Iraq the nation's traditional top oil supplier. More NHAI signs more with Nagarjun Sagar Sri Shalem Tiger Reserve. The National Highways Authority of India, NHAI, signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MO, with the Nagarjun Sagar Sri Shalem Tiger Reserve in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. The initiative proposes a FA stack based payment system at forest entry points to avoid long queues and delays. National Highways Authority of India, NHAI, founded, Ekno Art Art Dot Headquarters. New Delhi the Nagarjun Sagar Sri Shalam Tiger Reserve, located in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, is the largest tiger reserve in India, covering a total area of 3,728 km, 1,439 sq mi. Sipla signs agreement with Novathis Pharma AG. Indian multinational pharmaceutical company Sipla entered into a perpetual license agreement with Switzerland-based pharmaceutical company Novathis Pharma AG. The agreement allows Sipla to manufacture and market diabetes drug Galvis and its combination brands from 1st January 2026. Galvis is an oral anti-diabetic medicine that contains wildegliptin as an active ingredient in it. It is used for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. State News Union Minister Nitin Gadkari inaugurated Kanfapira Tunnel in Ramban Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari inaugurated the Kanfapira Tunnel at Ramban. The Union Minister said that four more tunnels on the Ramban Banihal section of the Jammu Srinagar National. Highway would be completed by next March and an additional tunnel would also be commissioned soon. Kolkata Metro becomes India's first metro train to run under river. The Kolkata Metro reached Havra from Kolkata through a river tunnel for the first time in India, carrying only officers and engineers. This tunnel is built across the Hooghly River. Once the services start, Havra will become the country's deepest metro station, 33 meters below the surface. The route from Havra to Esplanade is about 4.8 kilometers long, of which 520 meters will be completed by tunneling under the Hooghly River. PM Modi launches railway projects, methanol plant in Assam. During his day-long tour to Guwahati, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled several railway projects across the Northeast region, while also inaugurating a methanol plant and laying the foundation stone for a bridge over the Brahmaputra River. The newly rolled out railway projects include the Digrulumding and Gauripurabhyapuri sections, as well as the doubling of tracks between New Bongaigam and Dhukdhara. Furthermore, Modi launched the electrification of the Ranin Garjal Pai Gurigwahati, Sencho Silghat, and Sencho Merabri sections. The total cost of these projects is estimated to be 7,300 rupees crore. In addition to the railway projects, Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid the foundation stone for the Pulsabri Silakucha bridge over the Brahmaputra River. Modi also virtually commissioned a methanol plant in Namru, Dibrugarh, constructed by Assam Petrochemicals Ltd, APL, with a capacity of 500 tons per day, TPD, and an investment of 1,709 rupees crore. Modi's fourth project launch during his visit was the Rs 124 crore beautification work of the Rangghar, 
an amphitheater constructed by a home king Pramatta Singha in the 18th century. This two-story oval-shaped pavilion, located in Siv Sagar, is among the largest amphitheaters in Asia. Mumbai among 19 cities with best public transport in the world Mumbai has also found a place in the list of the best cities in the world with public transport. Though it ranks 19th in the list of 19 cities, Mumbai is the only Indian city to feature in the list. Time Out, a London-based media outlet, has released a list of 19 cities with the best public transport in the world. Germany's Berlin has been ranked first in this list of 19 cities. Peria Tiger Reserve topped the excellent category of Management Effectiveness Evaluation, ME. The Peria Tiger Reserve, PTR, has once again been declared the best managed tiger reserve in the country in the excellent category, according to the fifth cycle of Management Effectiveness Evaluation, ME, released by the Center. The Peria Reserve tops the list with a Management Effectiveness Evaluation ME, score of 94.38% among the 51 reserves evaluated. It was followed by Satpura and Bandipur at the second position, 93.18%, while Nagrahole stood third, 92.42%. Maharashtra government will celebrate V.D. Savarkar's 140th birth anniversary as Swatantre Veer Gaurav Day. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar was born at 28 May 1883 and he died on 26 at Farvari 1966. Veer Savarkar birth anniversary is observed on 28 at May every year. A grand theme park dedicated to Savarkar would be built at his birthplace which is in Bhagur. Nashik District. Up Suhelva Sanctuary records first photographic proof of tigers. The recently released report on the census of tigers in the country states that Suhelva Wildlife Sanctuary is a new area where photographic evidence of tigers has been recorded for the first time. The sanctuary, located in Shavasthi, Balrampur and Gonda districts of Uttar Pradesh, was declared a wildlife sanctuary in Unniso Atthasi. Nilesh Sambair honored with the Maratha Udyogratna 2023 feet award Nilesh Bhagwan Sambare, the founder of Jijau Educational and Social Foundation, was recently honored with the Maratha Udyogratna award at the Maratha Entrepreneurs Conference 2023. World's first Asian King Vulture Conservation and Breeding Center to be inaugurated in Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh has set up a state-of-the-art Jatayu Conservation and Breeding Center, JCBC, for the critically endangered Asian King Vulture, the first of its kind in the world. The Asian King Vulture is protected under the Wildlife Protection Act and is listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. IUCN, Red List The Wildlife Protection Act is a law enacted in India, in Uniso Bhattar with the primary objective of protecting the wildlife and their habitats in the country. IUCN, Headquarters, Gland, Switzerland, founded, 5 October 1948 IUCN Red List, Formation 1964, Headquarters, United Kingdom French Development Agency will assist in Rajasthan's forestry and biodiversity development project. In a meeting held at the Government Secretariat in Jaipur on April 2023, State Chief Secretary Usha Sharma said that an agreement has been reached between the State Government and the French Development Agency, under which plantation will be done on a large scale. The Rajasthan Forestry and Biodiversity Development Project is to be implemented in collaboration with the French Development Agency, which will increase the green area of the state. Uttar Pradesh government launched Atal Bihari Vajpayee Pavalum Electricity Flat Rate Scheme. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath approved the Atal Bihari Vajpayee Pavalum Electricity Flat Rate Scheme. 400 rupees crore will be spent on this scheme.
The benefit of this scheme will be available from 1st April 2023. At the same time, 80% subsidy will be given on handloom and 60% subsidy will be given on installation of power loom. Apart from this, Jhalkari Baikori Handloom and Power Loom Development Scheme has been started to connect the unemployed with employment opportunities. Article 371 F. Recently, an SDF Supremo claimed that the Sikkime se people feel betrayed as Article 371 F was violated. The Financial Bill 2023 redefines Sikkime se as any Indian citizen domiciled in Sikkim extending to them the same benefits as that of the original inhabitants whose forefathers' names were in the 1961 register this violates Article 371F, which was the basis for the merger of Sikkim with India in Unni Sopachattar. Sikkim finally opted to become a full-fledged 22nd state of the Indian Union with effect from 26 April 1975 via the Constitution 36th Amendment Act 1975 with special provision laid for the state under Article 371 F of the Constitution of India. According to Article 371 F, the members of the Legislative Assembly of Sikkim shall elect the representative of Sikkim in the House of the People. Banking Finance RBI Released Green Deposit Framework The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has announced a new framework for offering green deposits to customers with the objective of developing a green finance ecosystem, GFE, in India. This framework will come into effect from 1st June 2023. Green deposit refers to an interest-bearing deposit received by a regulated entity, RE, for a fixed period, with the proceeds earmarked for allocation to green finance. HDFC Bank partners with Export-Import Bank of Korea for a teen saw M credit. HDFC Bank announced that it has signed a master interbank credit agreement with Export Import Bank of Korea for a US dollar teen saw million line of credit. The pact was signed by the two entities at Gift City in Gujarat's capital Gandhinagar. SCBI logo gets a new look on 35th Foundation Day. Capital Markets Regulator SCBI unveiled a new logo on the occasion of its 35th Foundation Day. ESTD, April 12, 1988, HQ, Mumbai, Chairman, Madhabi Purubuch, ICICI Bank introduces EMI facility for UPI payments by scanning QR. ICICI Bank announced that it has introduced an easy EMI facility for UPI payments made by scanning QR code. Customers eligible for pay later, the banks buy now. Pay later service can avail of the EMI facility in an instant, easy seamless manner. NSE Index launches India's first REITs and INVITS Index. NSE Indices LTD, a subsidiary of NSE, has launched India's first real estate investment trust, REITs, and infrastructure investment trust, Inventory IT, Index. The objective of Nifty REITs and INVITS Index is to track the performance of real estate or infrastructure assets which are publicly listed and traded on NSE. REITs invest in real estate projects whereas INVITS invest in infrastructure projects with longer term duration. Through REITs and INVITS, Investors are offered diversified regular income generation and diversification of risk from regular asset classes such as equity, debt and gold. Indusind Bank signed co-financing loan agreement with City Jika for $125 million. The funding includes a Japanese yen of $13 billion, approx. $97.45 million, loan from the Japan International Cooperation Agency, Jika and another $30 million from City Bank to Indusind Bank. Indusind Bank will utilize the co-finance funding for own lending to the agricultural sector. SCBI approves setting up CDMDF with Rs. 3,000 crore initial corpus for debt mutual funds. 
द सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया एसीबीआई डिसाइडेड टू एस्टैब्लिश द कॉर्पोरेट डेट मार्केट डेवलपमेंट फंड (सीडीएमडीएफ) इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एन अल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड (एआईएफ) विद एन इनिशियल कॉर्पस ऑफ तीन हजार रुपये क्रो द एक्शन इज इंटेंडेड टू इंक्रीज सेकेंडरी मार्केट लिक्विडिटी इन जनरल एंड टू एनकरेज ऑप्टिमिजम अमंग पार्टिसिपेंट्स इन द कॉर्पोरेट बॉन्ड मार्केट About Corporate Debt Market Development Fund (CDMDF). CDMDF is an initiative aimed to assist mutual funds (MFs) in navigating liquidity issues in the debt market in the event of a large credit emergency or market disruption. The initial funding of Rs. 3,000 rupee crore will be contributed by asset management companies (AMCs). With 2,700 rupee crore coming from MF debt schemes and the remainder borrowed from the market as needed. About SBI, EST D April 12, 1988 HQ, Mumbai Chairman Madhvi Puri Bach. Act, Securities and Exchange Board of India Act, 1992 Kotak General Insurance ties up with Active Dot AI to sell insurance products to MSMEs. Kotak Mahindra General Insurance Company Limited has partnered with Active Dot AI to offer basic insurance products to new age micro, small and medium enterprises (MSMEs). SBI launches its coffee table book, the banker to every Indian state bank of India (SBI). announced the launch of its coffee table book titled the banker to every indian which celebrates 75 years of indian independence and the 200 year history of sbi which was established in 1955 global trade outlook and statistics by wto global trade may grow 1.7% in 2023 despite war The merchandise trade volume is expected to grow by 1.7% in 2023 up from the October 2022 estimate of 1.0%. The volume of world merchandise trade had a 2.7% growth in 2022 which was weaker than the WTO's October 2022 forecast of 3.5%. According to the WTO's trade forecasts Real global GDP growth at market exchange rates is projected to be 2.4% in 2023. In 2024, trade growth is anticipated to rebound to 3.2% as GDP growth accelerates to 2.6%. In 2023, North America, 3.3% is projected to have the highest growth rate for merchandise exports of any WTO region. followed by the cias 2.8% asia 2.5% and europe 1.8% west asia and south america are predicted to have slower export growth 0.9% and 0.3% respectively net direct tax collections rose by 17.63% to 16 rupees and 61 paise trillion in fy23 According to the provisional figures of direct tax collections for the financial year 2022 to 1923 FY23 the net direct tax collections was at 16 rupee 61 paise lakh crore an increase of 17.63% compared to rupee 14.1 to lakh crore of FY20 to 1 to 0 to 2 the provisional direct tax collections net of the refunds have exceeded the budget estimates b by 16.97% and revised estimates r by 0.69% in the union budget for fy23 the b for direct tax revenue was fixed at 14 rupee 20 paise lakh crore and the r were fixed at 16 rupee 50 paise lakh crore south indian bank signs bank assurance pact with chola ms South Indian Bank Limited (SIB) has signed a bank assurance pact with Chola Mandalam MS General Insurance (Chola MS) to offer the health and general insurance products of Chola MS to SIB's customers. This partnership will enable SIB customers to have access to the range of insurance products offered by Chola MS. Recently signed bank assurance agreement 
बैंक नेम इंश्योरेंस कंपनी नेम तमिलनाड मर्केंटाइल बैंक लिमिटेड चोलामंडलम एम एस जनरल इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपनी आउ स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक आईसीआईसीआई लॉम्बा जनरल इंश्योरेंस तमिलनाड मर्केंटाइल बैंक बजाज आलियंस लाइफ इंश्योरेंस आउ स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक एच लाइफ पंजाब नेशनल बैंक स्टार हेल्थ एनालीड इंश्योरेंस करूर व्यास्या बैंक एस लाइफ यूको बैंक आदित्य बिरला हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस आईआईएफएल फाइनेंस सिक्योर्स 100 सौ एम एन फंडिंग फ्रॉम ईडीसी डॉच बैंक आईआईएफएल फाइनेंस लिमिटेड हैज रिसीव्ड अ टोटल ऑफ 100 सौ डॉलर मिलियन इन लॉन्ग टर्म फंडिंग फ्रॉम एक्सपोर्ट डेवलपमेंट कैनेडा ईडीसी एंड डॉच बैंक विद 50 डॉलर मिलियन फ्रॉम ईच दिस मार्क्स आईआईएफएल सेकेंड लोन फ्रॉम ईडीसी with the company having previously received 100 dollar million in funding from edc in 2019 application supported by a blocked amount asba recently the securities and exchange board of india sebi approved a framework for an application supported by a blocked amount asba like facility for trading in the secondary market The facility is based on the blocking of funds for trading in the secondary market through UPI Unified Payments Interface. Awards recognitions. Union Minister Amit Shah will confer Maharashtra Bhushan Award to Papa Saheb Dharmadikari on 16 at April 2023. Papa Saheb Dharmadikari, a renowned social worker and reformer who has held three plantation drives. blood donation and medical camps as well as de addiction work in tribal areas he is also known as swachhata dut national panchayat awards for 2021 se 22 telangana state has bagged 13 out of the 27 national panchayat awards 2023 for 2021 to 2022 that the center announced The awards would be presented in New Delhi on 24th April National Panchayat Raj Divas 47th Oliver Award Chennai born Singaporean actress Anjana Vasan bags award for supporting actress Anjana Vasan a Chennai born Singaporean actress and singer songwriter based out of London United Kingdom won best supporting actress in the play at the 47th edition of Olivier Awards 2023 held at the Royal Albert Hall in London UK Anjana Vasan 36 years old is the first Singaporean to win the Olivier Award Bharat Biotech wins award at World Vaccine Congress 2023 at the World Vaccine Congress 2023 held in Washington USA from April 3rd to 6th Bharat Biotech was awarded the best production process development award as a part of the Vaccine Industry Excellence Y awards Appointments resignations Sanjay Agrawal RBI approves appointment of Sanjay Agrawal as MD CEO of AUSF Bank K Kriti Vasan K Kriti Vasan to take over from Gopinathan as TCS CEO from June 8 Keshab Mahindra former chairman of mahindra mahindra keshab mahindra passed away at the age of 99 ratnakar patnayak lic appoints ratnakar patnayak as chief investment officer four day visit of ukrainian deputy foreign minister eminj prova to india ukraine's deputy foreign minister eminj prova arrived in india on 9th april 2023 on a four day visit ukraine capital kiev president Volodymyr Zelensky currency Ukrainian hryvnia Ben Ferens Ben Ferens the last surviving prosecutor of the Nuremberg trials died on 9 April 2023 Sports Aman Saharawat won gold medal in Asian Wrestling Championship 2023 Indian wrestler Aman Saharawat won the gold medal in the men's 57 kg freestyle category at the Asian Wrestling Championships 2023 held in Astana, Kazakhstan. India won 13 medals at the Asian Wrestling Championships 2023 with two freestyle medals, four Greco-Roman medals and seven women's wrestling medals. Iran topped the medal tally with 11 medals. Che gold dot India
place at no sat position having 13 medals one gold three silver nine bronze david warner became the quickest to 6000 ipl runs during a match against rajasthan royals at the barsapara stadium in guwahati delhi capitals captain david warner became the fastest batsman to reach 6000 runs in the indian premier league ipl it took 165 innings to reach this milestone while kohli and dhawan achieved it in 188 and 199 innings respectively sushma patel will be the captain of india's first blind women's cricket team the cricket association for the blind in india cabi has announced india's first women's blind cricket team which will represent the country in the upcoming bilateral series against nepal Madhya Pradesh Sushma Patel has been appointed as the captain and Karnataka's Ganga Vanila Paharijan as the vice captain for this T20 bilateral cricket series. D Gukesh wins title in World Chess Armageddon Asia and Oceania event. 16 year old Domraj Gukesh emerged victorious in the second event of the Armageddon Championship Series 2023 organized by World Chess. Indian grandmaster Di Gukesh achieved a major feat by defeating former world rapid champion Nodirbek Abdusetorov. Orleans Masters 2023, Priyan Sharajawat wins men's singles title. Indian men's singles badminton player Priyan Sharajawat won the Orleans Masters 2023 men's singles title on 9 April 2023. Rajawat won his first tour title by defeating Magnus Johansson of Denmark in the final match of the tournament. Orleans Masters 2023 was held in France and is considered a Badminton World Federation (BWF) Super Team so event. Badminton World Federation (BWF) headquarters Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Note: Narang Cup, Thomas Cup, Uber Cup, Women Devan Cup are associated with Badminton Sports Authority of India integrates Khelo India Games certificates with DigiLocker. The Sports Authority of India integrates Khelo India Games certificates with DigiLocker.Khelo. India Games certificate is a document that is awarded to athletes who participate in the Khelo India Games. Sports Authority of India SAI was set up in 1982 SAI was set up as a society registered under Societies Act 1860 Digilocker is a flagship initiative of the Ministry of Electronic IT Metwai under Digital India Program dot Digilocker aims at digital empowerment of citizens by providing access to authentic digital documents to citizens digital document wallet Science Technology European Space Agency started JUICE mission to study Jupiter and its satellites on 13th April 2023. The European Space Agency has launched the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer JUICE mission to study Jupiter and its icy moons namely Ganymede, Callisto and Europa. It was launched from French Guiana through Ariane 5 launcher. This mission will enter the orbit of Ganymede in the year 2034. Garuda Aerospace first Indian company to receive Agri drone subsidy. Made in India drone startup Chennai based Garuda Aerospace has become the first company in the country to receive subsidy for making Agri drones. Under this Garud Kisan drones were given to eight farmers in a program organized in Pune. Drone distributors from all over Maharashtra were present in the event. WhatsApp launches Stay Safe campaign. WhatsApp has launched a new campaign called Stay Safe with WhatsApp, which highlights the several safety features that are pre-built on the messaging app. The campaign will run for a total of 3 months with a focus on several safety-centric features like block and report, two-step verification, and privacy and group settings India's first semi high speed regional rail service named rapids
India's first semi-high-speed regional rail services have been named rapids by the National Capital Region Transport Corporation NCRTC. The trains will run on the Regional Rapid Transit System RRTS, corridors being implemented to connect key urban nodes across the National Capital Region NCR. The rapid services on the first Delhi Ghaziabad Meerut RRTS corridor will bring down the travel time between Delhi to Meerut significantly. Ministry of Electronics IT organized 35th CISO deep dive training program. The event is being organized by the National E-Governance Division under its capacity building scheme of the Ministry of Electronics IT with 22 participants from central ministries and state CUTs. It is being organized at the Pertis Ed Chief Information Security Officers CSIO intensive training program at the School of Planning and Architecture in Vijayawada Andhra Pradesh SpaceX launches NASA's pollution tracking Tempo satellite the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying NASA's Tempo instrument successfully lifted off from Florida's Cape Canaveral space station The Tempo instrument is currently on its way to geosynchronous orbit where it will monitor air pollution in North America. It will take vital scientific readings on various pollutants such as nitrogen oxide, ozone and formaldehyde. Cabinet clears rupees 2 600 crore Lego India observatory to come up in Maharashtra. The Union Cabinet cleared rupee 2 600 crore project to construct and set up a laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory India Lego India which is likely to be completed by 2030 Unions Defense Balikistan US and the Philippines have started their annual Balikistan military exercises and it aims to improve the respective army's ability to jointly respond to threats in the Indo-Pacific region. Indian Air Force will participate in the exercise Orion 23 of France and NATO allies the Rafale Sar Ins Vikrant gets back its original 1961 bell. The Ins Vikrant, India's first indigenous aircraft carrier was presented with a special gift in the form of its original bell from the first carrier of the same name commissioned in 1961. The bell was given by Vice Admiral S N Ghormed who recently retired as the Vice Chief of Navy Staff to the commanding officer of Ins Vikrant on March 22. Rank India ranked 5th in Stanford University's AI Index Report 2023 the 6th edition of Stanford University's AI Index Report 2023 has been released This time the assessment of 127 countries has been given in this index whereas in the year 2022 it was limited to 25 countries India ranks 5th in terms of investments received by startups offering AI based products and services in 2022. One America, two China, three Britain, four Israel. India ranked 77th in World of Statistics ranking of most criminal countries in the World of Statistics ranking. Venezuela is ranked top, followed by Papua New Guinea, two Afghanistan, three South Africa, four Honduras. 5 India ranked 77 in the most criminal countries ranking while USA was at number 55 and UK at number 65 According to the ADR report Jagan Mohan Reddy of Andhra Pradesh is the richest chief minister of India the Association for Democratic Reforms ADR reports that 29 out of 30 chief ministers 97% are millionaires with an average asset of 34 rupees crore for each chief minister millionaire chief minister andhra pradesh cm vyas jagan mohan reddy assets worth 510 rupees crore poor chief minister mamta banerjee of west bengal assets worth 15 rupees lakh energy efficiency index aci 2021 se 22 Union Minister of Power and New Renewable Energy Shri RK Singh released the State Energy Efficiency Index ACI 
2021 से 22 रिपोर्ट ऑन 10 अप्रैल 2023 The index developed by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency B ACI 2021 se 22 consists of 50 indicators generic and program specific spread across 7 sectors building industry municipal services transport agriculture DICOMs and cross sectors In the financial year 2021 to 2022 36 states and union territories have been assessed based on their efforts and achievements the states have been classified as front runner achiever contender and aspirant front runner category 60 andhra pradesh achiever category 50 se 60 assam contender category 3049.5 chandigarh Telangana and Andhra Pradesh are the two best performing states increasing their score by 45.5%. Miscellaneous. Physicists discover new uranium isotope. Physicists in Japan discovered a previously unknown isotope of uranium with atomic number 92 and mass number 241. I dot uranium 241 and its half life according to theoretical calculations could be 40 minutes uranium is a naturally occurring chemical element with the symbol u and atomic number 92 it is a silvery gray metal in the actinide series of the periodic table uranium has several isotopes which are atoms that have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons like u235 and u238 see lamprey which was seen in the news belongs to fish sea lamprey is a rare species of fish that is known to extract blood of its prey it was recently spotted on the dutch island of texel it was last sighted on the island in 2017 the sea lamprey is also known as vampire fish due to its nature of sucking blood from its host like a parasite book and author A book titled Courting India by Nandini Das released The Great Bank Robbery a new book co-authored by V Pattabhi Ram Sabhyasachi Dash